it is another beautiful day out. I'm starting to like this. It's you know not too warm where I'm sweating up a storm, but it's also not too cold or anything like that. Today I just want to talk about why I love bent pressure washing ones. Check this bad boy. Bam. Let me get you guys a better angle. It's awesome, isn't it? You might be thinking like, what? why would you want it bent? Like, wouldn't you rather just have a straight one? I could show you why you don't want a straight one and why a bent one is actually better. Oh shoot, I actually can't show you what with a straight one because I don't have one. I think I got rid of it a while ago because I didn't like having a straight one so much that I just decided to get rid of it and get <laughs> and just got a bent one. When I first started detailing, I didn't really like even having a straight one or a bent one on. I just liked honestly using the stubby because it's like super easy to just maneuver and it's really easy to just attach and detach the foam cannon. But the more I used this bent one, like the more I kind of appreciate it. It's kind of hard to demonstrate some of the advantages on a shorter car like my sedan here. But for some cars where they're like really tall or they're extremely low, then the bent wand, that's where it comes in clutch. So let me try and make an example here. When you're cleaning wheel wells and stuff, if you have a straight wand, it's a lot harder to get that angle where you're actually cleaning the wheel. Here, let me get you guys a better angle. If I had a straight wand, you would see, like, let's just pretend this point right here is the straight wand. So if I had a straight wand, I'd be blasting right into the wheel right now instead of getting into the wheel well. The advantage of having the bent one is you can really easily get into the wheel well and you can spin it around as much as you like and as freely as you like thanks to the quick disconnects. If I want to get like into this wheel well, I don't, I, I don't have to like bend my back that much and I'll, be, I'll zoom you guys back out to show that, but I don't have to bend my back that much and I can just easily slide it along the wheel well. So if I do brush it and I want to pressure wash it, that's really easy to do. Whereas if I had a straight lance extension, I'd have to like be at the center of the wheel. And then once I get to the top, I'd have to go below. And that's where you start to get into problems there. And obviously like this isn't that big of a deal, to be honest. Like it's just the difference between having to bend over and not, I guess. Okay, that sounds weird. It's just a small difference, but it, ma it makes a big deal when you're pressure washing. Like, you don't really realize it. At least I didn't, because I always have been using a bent one, but I've slowly come to realize that if I didn't have this bent nature here, then I'd be having a lot worse of a time trying to do those uh, tricky wheel well angles. So I'm gonna bring you guys to the front for a second, because there's more to show here. So part of the advantage of also having the bent one is you can get these grills straight on, standing straight up. So I can just get these straight on and I'm like about six foot, give or take. I won't have to go below and go at a straight angle with it. And that lets me get, you know, the that straight on angle is like way more important than if you just hit it from above because there's area under these like little grill plates here too that I have to get. So now that I got you guys zoomed back out, I'll just show you what I mean with the bending over thing. Right to jail, right away. So I can flip this thing upside down and then I can just have it like this and you can see I'm basically standing straight right up without like, you know, bending over or anything like that. But if I had a straight wand, like let's say I bent it to the side, then I'd have to go something like this to get up into that wheel well there. I really want to clean it well. That's the, that difference there. It might not seem like a big difference, but when you're detailing a lot, or you're doing this a lot, it can, you know, uh, it's just nice, honestly, it's just nice, okay? That's why these things are awesome. It's like a slight consideration, but has a big impact. Wow, it's starting to get warm out here. So I was just gonna take care of the wheels using the bent wand because that's really where it shines, is when you can get, you know, into the, all these different angles of the wheel just by like standing up and not having to put in much work. One that I needed to zoom you guys out to show you was, if, you're, if you have like a really tall car and you're trying to get to the top of it, like the bent nature forces the water right into the top of the car. So you don't have to like go even higher with it to get get it to wash the top of the car. So it's kind of nice. So if you're doing like a suburban or like a large SUV, then this can really help you to get the, the top there and get it really rinsed off and clean so there's no soap residue. And therefore when it dries, if there's like a moonroof or something, it won't be all patchy and stuff. That's where the bent pressure washer wand shines. I see like a lot of people just prefer to use maybe the stubby with a tip on it. And personally, I don't really like that because I feel like I have to be so close to the car when I'm washing it. And that's kind of the benefit of it is you get to be close to the car when you're watching it. But when there's all these different angles in the car and stuff, like that means you have to move around a ton. 
So if I just have this bent wand, I barely have to move. And you can see it in my videos, I'm pretty much standing up straight the whole time I'm washing the car. And it's super nice. It's gonna save you in the long run probably. When I'm 81 and detailing for 80 years, then I'll be thanking myself for using the bent wand. So I'm just gonna go do the wheels and kind of show you how easy it is to do with this wand here. And uh, yeah, you guys will see it's like piece of cake, pretty easy stuff. I'm not sweating yet at least. I can feel it's starting to get really warm though. What have you guys been thinking of the new uh, short style, by the way? I've been really liking it. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. They're kind of fun. I've been trying to do more like memes, so not memes, but just funny stuff. All right, let's take care of these wheels, guys. We'll get right to it. Man, I swear, some of these guys have like, like a medical procedure of surgeon level that they're doing when they clean wheels. It's like, oh my God, oh my God. All right, so let me get you guys closer to this wheel. I don't want to get you too close though, so you can still see like kind of how I'm standing and that tripod it's, that you guys are on has fallen twice now. I'm thinking about getting a different one because it's like broken the little power supply basically. It was only 20 bucks, but still I just want stuff that's not gonna break and fall over. So I got this thing all pressurized. I swear this foamer is half broken or something because it just never releases pressure automatically. So I'm a little worried one day it's just gonna explode. <laughs> Like that's why it's like foaming outside when I haven't done anything because it's just too pressurized. When you do wheels, you have to bend over anyways to like scrub them and stuff. But if I only have to do that for the scrubbing, that's saving myself like, like a minute. Okay, it's not that much. I'm saving myself like maybe a minute of time where I have to be all like scrounged up. So let me get this thing foamed down real quick. You see that guys, I think that's why this thing is broken too because that amount of foam is not normal <laughs> at all. So you can see I'm still like crouched and kind of in an uncomfortable position, but at least I'm only doing this for, you know, the portion where I'm actually cleaning the wheel. Also, I think I've kind of come into like a realization that doing the barrel of the wheel is way better first than doing the outside. The foam on the outside like clings, but on the, the barrel on the inside, sometimes like the foam just runs off and you can only really clean the bottom super well. Maybe that's just a flaw with how I do wheels though. All right, and guys, one little tip for cleaning wheels is I always put my wheel cleaning tools inside a bucket because then all of the dirt that runs off the tools will be inside the bucket instead of on the pavement. You might not think about it, but the chemical can kind of stain pavement a bit if it's like gray. It kind of turns it brown sometimes, so it's just better to avoid that. And so now we're getting to the part where I'm actually gonna be pressure washing it. it. Took long enough, right? You can see I'm just standing normally. So you can see that was like pretty simple. I was just kind of, you know, doing my thing, just standing up, chilling. And now I'm not standing up or chilling at all because I'm not sure if I'm in frame or not, but you guys get the picture. The bent wand is epic. Behold. The product of our ancestors. This thing's epic. Man, this thing is epic. So we'll take some time to do the remaining wheels. I didn't expect this video to be that long for you guys today, but I think it's like a interesting discussion because a lot of people don't really understand, at least I didn't, the benefit of the bent wand because I always had one. So normally I'd like foam down all four wheels at once and just do them all together. But because I'm doing this demonstration, I think it's just easier to do one at a time. You can see the cleaner isn't getting that dirty because it's not picking up much dirt. I did just do a foam wash the other day, but I haven't washed, or I actually haven't like cleaned these wheels in like a few months. You know, it really depends where you're driving and how busy the traffic is and all that. So let me give you guys a different view of me pressure washing the wheels. See, I'm just standing, chilling. So yeah, like you can see, I, I bend over a little bit, but it's not nearly as bad as if I had a straight one. I would have loved to show you guys that. Actually, you know, I might be able to sh demonstrate it by putting this thing sideways, actually. So let me kind of do that on the other side and we can see if there's really much of a difference if I just had one that was straight. So I'm not gonna be bending it at all. If I put it sideways, it should theoretically. Hold up, we're about to do some mad science. Also look at all this runoff. There's some dirt in there for sure. It's not too bad though. I've definitely seen worse wheels. I've seen ones where 
you put the wheel cleaner on and it's like straight just like black goop all right let me give you guys a similar angle because then we can really compare the two the two clips first let me foam this bad boy What is up with this thing? I swear that thing's gonna explode any second. So you can see this is the part where, you know, I'm always squatting no matter what basically, cause gotta get on the level of the wheel. All right, so I'm gonna use this thing sideways, like the scientific method. Theoretically, if I use it sideways, it should be vertically. There shouldn't be a difference and I should have to bend over a little bit more technically. So, and uh, we'll see. I definitely felt myself wanting to bend down more and that sounds really stupid like I could just be a sellout for a big wand but trust me guys I make this joke too much I'm not a sellout it's just like I don't know it's hard to explain like the angle just doesn't feel right for the water to be hitting the wheel I don't know how to describe it but when you when you use the bent nature to your advantage you know it just feels a lot like look like if I'm pressure watching the wheel Like that, like that's straight on for me. But as soon as I turn to the side, I don't know, maybe I'm just fibbing. I just like, you know, it's like, like I could definitely notice it mostly on the wheel wells. Holy crap, that wheel is dirty as heck. Wow, there's some sludge coming out of there. What the, like see if I want to get straight on with the, what's inside, I kind of got to go like this. But if I use, you know, the bent nature to my advantage here, then all I have to do is this. So I can at least like conclusively say there's a big difference for when you're doing the wheel well area and when you're doing the top of a car, there's gonna be a big difference. But for the wheel itself, there might not be a huge difference. Although when you do get to the part where you have to do the top of the wheel here, like you can see there, then you might have a little bit of trouble and might wanna be like more like this. So yeah, there is definitely a difference and I, I kind of, uh, you know, appreciate it, but maybe, you know, you're okay with doing just a straight on blaster Roni. It's really not that trivial. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> just thought I'd like show you how awesome this thing is and how epic it is. We go into war with this one. Yeah, I slightly got some crap on my pants. Cool, just got them. So now that I'm done pressure washing though with the wheels and all that, you might be like, well, you missed that one over there. I didn't miss it, okay? I just did it in a different video. So you notice in this bucket here where I kept the tools for the wheels, you can see there's like a bunch of scum in there. And if I didn't put these in the bucket, that's what would be on the ground. Like right here by my place, I don't care about that. But if I'm doing, if I'm at someone's place and doing their, uh, their car, then I, I do care about it. And you might be like, well, all this runoff, isn't that gonna cause the same issue? And it's, I've never seen it cause an issue just because it's heavily diluted. When it dries up, you won't even notice it. So I'm just gonna let these dry, give them some time, and then I'm gonna be putting some tire gel on them later. I think like, you know, if you wanna get a pressure, uh, bent pressure washing one, definitely do it. It'll save you a lot of back. You know, your back will thank you because, gosh dang it. Oh, what? I'm all out of towels. Depending on your situation, you want different types of wands. Like you could have a really long straight lance and that might be good for the siding of a house that's really tall. But you know, generally for car detailing, the bent one is gonna be what you want along with just a foam cannon and if you and a stubby. So the stubby is nice because if you're working in a more uh, enclosed area, then you have room to work with where you don't have to be, a, you know, six or what is this, like four feet away from the car. To pressure wash it you can be like a foot away so it gives you a lot more uh, leeway in terms of how much room you have but we're talking about the bent one and you're going back to that four feet distance but that's a pretty generous amount of room to give anyways for detailing and washing your car and stuff like that so i think uh, if you don't have four feet of space on the side of your car then you might be having a little bit of trouble anyways like when i try to wash it in the garage there sheesh it's a nightmare <laughs> if you don't have like a lot of space for whatever reason 
then rinseless wash is going to be your way to go just doing that with a microfiber and obviously that's a similar situation as just doing a hand wash so you're kind of sacrificing that two-step wash for just a one step <sighs> thanks for watching and i hope you learned a little bit about bent pressure washing ones as always i aim to kind of teach you a little bit about detailing without trying to make it too complicated because the market is definitely oversaturated in terms of detailing products there's so many different ones and it's hard to know what's really going to be good and what's not so like i said pretty simple video today but you know there's always something to take away even if it's short or if it's long so um as always just I love you guys.